The Cargo Dragon continues to dominate the space delivery industry after completing yet another historic mission for SpaceX. The reusable vehicle stands alone as the only reliable space transport active in the USA today. Have you ever wondered what makes this craft so reliable and what it looks like from the inside? Well, let's find out. The Dragon is a human-rated spacecraft developed by SpaceX. It is an incredible engineering marvel that has opened a passage to space that was once reserved for government agencies with billions of dollars in funding. The craft is so well received that it has now become the primary carrier for NASA to take astronauts and cargo to the International Space Station. Since the early 2000s, the ISS has been in use and needs to have astronauts on board at all times. In the past, astronauts could reach the ISS by riding either the United States Space Shuttle or the Russian Soyuz spacecraft. However, the Space Shuttle stopped operating in 2011 and the Soyuz became the only way to travel to the ISS. At that time, there were no other spacecraft options for human space travel. Everything changed in 2020 when the Dragon successfully transported astronauts from American soil once again. The Dragon spacecraft has multiple versions. The initial version was called Dragon 1, which was specifically designed as a cargo spacecraft to transport supplies to and from the International Space Station. It successfully completed over 20 flights, delivering cargo to the space station. However, it was not capable of carrying humans, only cargo. Following Dragon 1, Dragon 2 was introduced, which consists of two variations, the Cargo Dragon and the Crew Dragon. The Crew Dragon, unlike its predecessor, is capable of carrying both people and cargo into space. On the other hand, the Cargo Dragon closely resembles the Crew Dragon in appearance, but is solely intended for transporting cargo. Since it doesn't need to accommodate human occupants, it lacks life support systems, abort engines, and internal controls within the vehicle. The Dragon consists of two main parts, the capsule and the trunk. The capsule, also known as the pressurized section, is where the crew stays during manned missions. Inside the capsule, there is breathable air, and the temperature is kept comfortable for the astronauts. At the beginning of the launch, the nose cone of the capsule is closed, but it is opened once the spacecraft reaches space. Opening the nose cone reveals sensors, thrusters, and the docking mechanism used to connect to the ISS. The Dragon capsule is equipped with 16 Draco thrusters. 12 of these thrusters are positioned on the sides, while four are located toward the top. Draco thrusters serve multiple purposes, including adjusting the spacecraft's orientation and altering its orbit. These thrusters enable the Dragon to reach the ISS at the start of a mission and safely return to Earth by deorbiting at the mission's end. In addition to the Draco thrusters, there are eight Super Draco engines, which are considerably more powerful. These engines serve as a safety measure in case of an emergency during launch or until the spacecraft reaches orbit. The Super Draco engines can quickly propel the crew to a safe distance. The bottom part of the capsule features a heat shield. This shield provides protection to the crew during re-entry into Earth's atmosphere at the conclusion of the mission. Initially, SpaceX planned to incorporate landing legs that would extend through the heat shield. 
allowing the capsule to land on land. While this idea seemed fascinating, SpaceX ultimately decided to opt for a splashdown landing in water, similar to previous NASA spacecraft. This decision was based on factors such as cost, complexity, and schedule considerations. The lower section of the spacecraft is known as the trunk. It serves multiple purposes, including providing storage space for cargo and supporting the spacecraft's structure. During the launch, one half of the trunk is white and contains radiator panels that help dissipate heat from the spacecraft. The other side, covered in blue, is equipped with solar panels. These solar panels generate power for the Dragon capsule. Unlike the previous version of Dragon, where the solar panels unfolded after reaching space, the current design has the solar panels directly attached to the side. This ensures a more reliable power source as the panels can simply be pointed towards the sun for generating electricity. Throughout the mission, the trunk remains connected to the capsule. It is only detached at the very end, approximately one hour before the capsule splashes down. It's important to note that the trunk does not possess a heat shield. As the spacecraft re-enters Earth's atmosphere, the trunk, without a heat shield, will undergo intense heat and burn up. To enter the capsule, astronauts use the side hatch. The Dragon capsule was designed to fit up to seven people inside. However, NASA has chosen to use only four of the seats. This leaves more room to carry cargo underneath the seats. SpaceX has a unique approach to spacecraft design by focusing on reusability. Traditionally, spacecraft were used only once due to the challenges of space travel and returning to Earth. This meant that a new spacecraft had to be built for each mission, resulting in significant costs. However, the Dragon capsule is specifically designed to be reusable. Several Dragon vehicles have been manufactured, each assigned a serial number and a name. As of February 2023, some of these vehicles have already completed multiple flights. For instance, the Endeavour capsule has been flown three times. The flight timeline of the Dragon showcases its successful utilization. In May 2020, it had its inaugural crewed flight with two NASA astronauts on board who successfully docked with the International Space Station. Since then, the Dragon has embarked on numerous flights, not only in collaboration with NASA, but also with other ventures. Notable examples include the Inspiration4 mission, consisting of four civilians, and a flight conducted by the private space company Axiom Space. Currently, there are additional missions planned for the Dragon. These developments indicate a significant shift and evolution within the space industry. Recently, the Cargo Dragon made history once again by successfully completing SpaceX's 28th cargo mission to the ISS for NASA. On Monday at 11.47 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time, a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket was launched from NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida. Its mission was to send a robotic Dragon cargo capsule to the International Space Station. After nine minutes, the Falcon 9's first stage successfully returned to Earth, making a precise landing on the SpaceX drone ship called a Shortfall of Gravitas, stationed off the coast of Florida. This marked the fifth launch and landing for this specific booster. Approximately 12 minutes after liftoff, the Falcon 9 upper stage deployed the uncrewed Dragon capsule into a planned low Earth orbit. The Dragon capsule carried around 7,000 pounds of supplies and scientific investigation materials for the crew aboard the space station. 
The CRS-28 missions, scientific research, included new experiments and materials for over 30 ongoing projects on the ISS. Notable experiments on this mission included the Klinger technology demonstration for autonomous docking systems, DNA mutation research on telomeres and microgravity, and the study of blue energy thunderstorm discharges. Additionally, the CRS-28 Dragon carried six small satellites called CubeSats. Five of these CubeSats were student-run projects from the Canadian Space Agency's program, while the sixth, called Moonlighter, was a collaboration between the Aerospace Corporation, the Air Force Research Laboratory, and Space Systems Command. Moonlighter was specifically designed for a space-based cybersecurity hacking challenge. Moreover, CRS-28 included the next pair of IROSAs, or International Space Station Rollout Solar Arrays. These arrays are set to be attached above the ISS's current solar panels to enhance the station's electricity generation. NASA astronauts will use the station's robotic arm to remove the IROSAs from Dragon's trunk and conduct two spacewalks to install them. Once operational, the complete set of IROSAs will boost the space station's power supply by 20 to 30 percent. If you like this video, you may also be interested in this one, which talks about Elon Musk's new silicone battery, which will change the industry. Do you think SpaceX needs to develop a larger cargo delivery spacecraft? Please share your thoughts in the comments below.